I remember when I first became aware of my infection, my sin infection, my sin nature. I was in the second grade. And in the second grade, your social status is somewhat determined by who's the fastest in the class. And at least for the second grade, I was the fastest boy in the class. Fastest boy. Wasn't the fastest. Tressa Roberts was the fastest. And yet we would play this game at recess called um, Freeze Tag, Boys Chase Girls. And then one day we were playing Freeze Tag. And she was just ahead of me a little bit. And I grabbed her ponytail and I yanked it. And she fell backwards, started crying. I immediately thought, what have I done? And just ran away to hide. Put my head back down. Bell rang, I ran to the second grade classroom, and I sat at my desk, I thought, what? why would I do that? You ever think that? Mrs. Cruz comes to the uh, second grade classroom and tells my second grade teacher that she needs to see me in the hallway. Do you have something to tell me? No. Did you, did you pull Tress's hair? No. Got away with that. But then something happened the next morning. During kindergarten, first grade, I'd get out of carpool, my mom take me to school, I'd get out of carpool, and Mrs. Cruz would be at the door, I'd give her a hug. But on that next morning, I got out of carpool and I saw her standing at this door and I went around to the other door. I thought I could get away with it, but the minute I sinned, even though no one else knew about it, it started creating separation. Shame tells me I'm, um, I'm strong enough, I don't need any help. Shame drives me away from people who care about me. As he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. This is what shame does. And so we try to cover ourselves up. We try to hide, we try to hide behind good deeds and, and accomplishments and college degrees. We, we have these fig leaves that we try to use so that nobody will notice. We're hoping we can get by that we're not exposed. We try to hide behind religion and appearance, but it doesn't work. There's a beautiful verse here at the end of Genesis chapter 3, verse 21. It said, the Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife, and he, he clothed them. So think about just the grace in this, y'all. Like, because of sin, they are covering themselves in these itchy, uncomfortable fig leaves. But what does God do? He covers them in skins. How did he get the skins? An animal. An animal shed its blood to cover the sin and shame of mankind. Does that remind you of another story? It's pointing us to Jesus, the curse reverser. Therefore, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Listen, you don't have to hide anymore. There's no condemnation for those who are in Christ.